Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Monday, so I hope you had a very good weekend. I know for sure I did. On Saturday was pizza day. Uh, the famous uh, day that a guy bought two pizzas for 10,000 bitcoins in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. So I hope you had a very good weekend and you celebrated pizza day with some wine or some another alcoholic drink. And today is Monday, so we are about to go to the charts. If you enjoy the content, gently press the, the, the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and share it with your friends. So let's go to the charts and see what's happening today. So here we are um, on the price to time model. I still have my, my candle patterns here from uh, the previous cycles. But uh, I will just go there in a, in a second. So let's just check how the price to time model is. So we have the 20 week SMA turning back down now. This is the third week uh, below um, the 20 week SMA. So we had the first one that closed below or mm, I'm not sure. Let me just check here. Yes, so it, we had a close below the 20 week SMA on this first one, the first candle here. Then we had a second big candle to the downside, a very big drop. You guys know already this was about 54%. And now we are on the third week with the price action below the 20 week SMA. So, but we are now on a green candle for some time. We needed this green just to feel happy, at least some green here on the weekly. We are now uh, having a bit of a retracement in the price action. So going to the upside retracement in this case after some two uh, bearish weeks. So this retracement is putting is on putting us on the green and this uh, weekly candle is now you guys know already look we are exactly at the same pace as the 2017 bull cycle which is the yellow candle pattern here so the price action is exactly on the same level as the yellow candle pattern so we are on time for anything good that might happen the 200 the 200 um, week sma we also notice a bit of a turning um, to the right so not going so steep as it was before of course due to this big 54 percent drop we had in the last two weeks okay so but the most important thing i wanted to show you on the price to time model guys is this so you guys remember i've been talking about this the RSI was coming down like crazy. This orange dashed line is the same level as the 2013 cycle after the 75% correction. And we now have at least a sign that the RSI is stopping going down and is turning back up. So we, uh, since yesterday, since the, uh, since the week, weekly close of yesterday, or today, I might add, because this was at 1 a.m. in Portuguese time, we have at least the RSI turning back up and probably going to the same level as the 2013 cycle uh, after the 75% correction of that cycle. So this is one of the first uh, uh, indications that we are about to end this, this bearish um, short-term run and possibly we could see a reversal soon. Let's hope this is not just a dead can't bounce and we can at least go back up uh, to achieve some already visited levels, but at least leaving the 30s and probably going back to the 40s soon. Of course, I mean the 40K level. So that's it for the price to time model. Uh, nothing else of big concern here. So let's check the MRI and we will start by the weekly. So the weekly we have been supported by my trend line, the trend line that I plotted from the first week of October going up, uh, you know, just lining this first leg up of the bull market and then 
continuing to this side here and I had to plot a new one when we exponentially broke to the upside so the first trend line did not hold the price we had to come back down to the second trend line I was not really expecting this you guys know already I was not giving it a big probability of coming back down to revisit this trend line however the trend line hold the price so far so good so far we have been holding the price around the level of this trend line which is uh, on this week is 36k so we are now on the uh, 37 370 so we are above the trend line which is a good sign and if you guys can see here the 20 week sma is going sideways but because of this small recovery on this week uh, this weekly candle the three dots here that uh, forecast the possibility of the 20 week sma where this is going to be in the future is already going up as compared to the point where we are now so you guys can see the three dots the three green dots there are above the level of the current 20 week sma so the probabilities are not so bad that we have some kind of reversal here uh, I'm not excluding the possibility of course that we can go lower and probably we could find support on the 50 week SMA if that happens we would revisit the 30k or even 29k by this week or next week we could still revisit the 29 I actually have I left uh, a limit order open to buy more Bitcoin around the 29k level so if this happens I'm not so um, I'm not so angry if we revisit the 29 or th even 30k because I still have some limit orders there just waiting for that price action if it happens of course um, it's still on the table I will not give it a very very high probabilities however it's a relevant probability that we might revisit the 29k according to the price structure we have here but I bet that if that happens it would be something like this big week and supported by the 50 week SMA so it could be um, it could be a possibility not like five or ten percent it could be even like 30 percent that we go revisit those levels for a final opportunity to load some sets and stack some sets sorry and of course you guys should take the opportunity if that happens and stop selling on the lows because you are just losing money and that's not uh, what a real trader should do so in this case a real trader will be bullish if we go back down to the 29k and will be bearish if we go back to the fifth to the high 50s to the high 50s so this is uh, a lot of people do, do exactly the opposite when they go back to 58 60,000 they they start to be uh, bullish and when we come back down to 30 or 35k they start to be bearish and they sell on the loss so that's not the proper uh, behavior if you want to be in the markets and not lose money this is the time to stack some sats not the time to sell sats so the RSI is pointing back up again after this big drop on the RSI we went below the medium level here the MACD is calming down the bearish momentum we can see already the blue line is wanting to turn to the right and go sideways the bar of this week is not so big as yeah, you know the increments of this bar is not so big as the previous ones as like the previous can the previous bar was much bigger than the previous one and the increment for this one is now a little bit uh, lower than that one so regarding the MACD we are still bearish of course but the MACD is a bit laggy so you know this is a laggy indicator and it will only turn up when we have a big recovery here probably half to the previous candle or even higher then we will start to see some uh, light red bars and the blue light uh, the blue line sorry the blue line uh, turning sideways and probably even going up soon enough but I would bet that this will take at least one more week 
to see that line going sideways and turning back up unless we shoot from uh, you know tomorrow we are on a new all-time high and we go uh, back to the 65k then probably this line will not take a week to turn up but I bet this is not going to happen soon so that's it it will take about a week or even two to see this line going up and that will be a good sign for us so that's what I have for you on the weekly chart. We are still, however, on a 7 of 9. So I, as I said, the probability that we revisit the 29K is still on the table. It's not irrelevant. Uh, it's uh, still at least a third. Um, I would give it like 30% probabilities that we still revisit the 29K or even 40% that we revisit the 29k. So let's see, or the 30k in this case, because we might not go so low as 29, but let's see what happens. It's still on the table, and the price structure tells me that it's, uh, it's not uh, to ignore this probability. So let's check the daily uh, and see where we are on the MRI. So I have here a channel that I drew. I plotted this channel uh, this uh, this morning when I was analyzing the charts and we have at least on the daily chart we have a good sign for the first time for the first time during this entire drop this is the first time a daily candle breaks to the upside of this channel and also it's still bigger than the previous candle so this candle the price action at the current moment as I record the video is above the opening of the previous candle which was by the way a sell uh, uh, a sell signal here the red star and we are now breaking up this uh, range channel to the upside i'm going to zoom so you guys can see it better so here it is the channel i have been touching all the candles to the since the, the since the drop started to occur and now we are for the first time on the daily chart we are above this channel so it's also a good sign i'm not saying that we are already out of problems but it's a good sign again uh, uh, on top of the previous one I said already the RSI level turning back up on the price on the price to time model so let's see what happens the daily is already turning sideways here on the MACD we already have a few light red uh, bars the blue line is going sideways at the moment while the orange is still going down so they are closing the gap in between them so you guys can see the blue line is now going sideways completely horizontal and the orange line is still going back down but i guess soon enough they will touch again unless something really crazy happens i'm not seeing this uh, bearish um, um, momentum to continue for much longer so the rsi was on uh, in oversold territory twice already twice already so the big drop here was once one time and then we had another at least three times this one also just by a hair inside the oversold territory and the last drop also put us on uh, oversold territory however this new candle which is now going back up is a good sign and the RSI is again on neutral territory pointing up so that's good the volume of course because of this big sell-off has been increasing but that's not uh, very relevant information for now so that's the daily I hope that my trend line holds this and we could see a bottom around here unless we still revisit as I said before we could revisit the 29k which is about this level here and then have a proper reversal to the upside which is not bad in fact because the more time we accumulate around this area the uh, the more explosive could be and stronger could be I'm sorry not explosive stronger could be the next reversal to the upside which could bring us to all-time highs again but the more we accumulate the stronger it will be the reversal to the upside soon so I guess we as I said, and I, I, I have to say this a lot, of, uh, a lot of times because I don't want you guys to think that I'm 100% bullish. I'm not 100% bullish at the moment. I still foresee the probability of at least 30 to 40% that we could still revisit lower levels and finally have a bottom around that level. So that's the daily for you. And let's check the four hour. So as i said here it is the ranging channel that we have been navigating to the downside we are above for the first time we broke that channel we are now above and trying to fight for this level we already 
uh, had a rejection here around this this uh, 38 and a half thousand and now we went back for a bit but we are now re retrying this this level and trying to break to the upside so let's see what bitcoin does in this case here on the four hour that's it we are on a one to four uh, green count so i hope that we can achieve the five the green five which is a very important number if you don't want this just to be a dead cat bounce and we are exactly uh going up um so for real going up and trying to break new levels i am however say, i have to say this the 50 period sma is coming back down on the four hour so this will be another thing that we will have to fight to overcome and it will join the resistance that we already have around 38 500. so that's it for the four hours the bitmax funding rate completely neutral there's no not even uh, a good point to mention here so there's no point mentioning anything about the bitmax funding rate i will not even visit the one hour chart because it doesn't tell me much now so let's go and check the pro indicators framework oh before that sorry pro indicators framework here it is let me just reload the page very very quickly and let's see what's happening so we are completely completely so we you know below the support context uh we had a new fourth range boundary which was still not uh invalidated by a new uh price level going to the downside so um now we are starting a new if you guys can see it here so every new week we have to start a new support context and the support context is forming exactly at almost the same level as the fourth range boundary here so we are going to have for the next week this gray box that you guys see starting to form here this will be our new support context on the four hour and it is a big big drop since the uh, from the previous week which was up here above the second speculative area the green rectangle as you guys see here so this was just a bit above that uh, speculative area and now we had this big drop on the support context and also the resistance context came back down all the way to a medium of 51k so the other one here the support context is on the medium of the 30 30k and a half so this is what we would have been uh, we would have liked that did not happen uh, so unfortunately we started a new week with these lo lower 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 prices we still had this second big drop to the downside uh, on sunday uh, now trying to recover of course but the week started around these levels and so the context of course had to be plotted by the indicator down here uh, so the momentum uh, is actually pointing me to a squeeze so there's a price squeeze here uh, this exactly illustrates what I was saying before that we are trying to break these new levels we have a support we have a resistance that was support before and we are we now have a, this resistance here around the 38 and a half K this is the first resistance we have to break to go to the upside and then we will have as you guys saw d 50 period SMA on the four hour to break also that is coming back down to join the same resistance as the 38 and a half K so let's see what happens uh, this is guys this is what I have for you guys today I just uh, I'm not even going to check but I, I can just take a, a very quick look at the dollar so the dollar is again going a bit down uh, yesterday uh, sorry the previous week which ended yesterday we had this uh, attempt again to break this support and go below the 89 on the dixie and we went back up again above the rectangle the orange rectangle and now today we are starting a new week and this candle is again trying to go to the downside so i hope the dollar breaks this week this would be the great week if the dollar breaks the 89 to the downside and completely ignores this support forever and we continue to go down to hyperinflation and helping bitcoin to go up of course so it's not about the bitcoin it's about also the volatility of the dollar so i hope you guys understand that if the dollar becomes very volatile and bitcoin continues to be stable around those levels 
the dollar going down of course makes the price of bitcoin going up and that's what we all want so uh, i will never be accused of being a bear um, but of course we have to be prudent and understand what's happening in the markets in in relation to other assets also so guys i'm not going to check gold and the smp today because there's a already almost 20 minutes of video so i will leave you guys for today and i hope everyone let me just stop screen share i hope everyone has a great monday with your family and friends and if you enjoy the content of course uh just um gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel and if you are new and share it with your friends and of course guys i will see you all back i guess tomorrow in the next one bye bye all right let's roll hey Let's be careful out there.